a few moments later well guys i'm driving this uh, 1992 honda accord pretty sweet car it needs a lot of work but um it's an amazing machine i'll clean it all up and make it nice and you know we'll get it ready for a resale i'll show you the outside really quick very soon So we're almost home guys, everything is amazing, the car is doing just awesome, no overheating, no any problems, you know, so it's going to be fun uh, fixing this car up, restoring it and, uh, you know, giving it a good home. Alright guys, there she is, she's at home, alright, Honda Accord 1992, so it needs quite a bit of work, <laughs> the interior is super trashed and everything. It needs some love here on the outside, a wash, and there's a little dent there and broken side marker lens and all that stuff. Um, engine bay needs to be cleaned up, needs an oil change, needs quite a bit of a couple other things. But, you know, we'll get everything done, so that's fine, guys. And the gas door is also kind of weird here. And then this antenna is, I don't know what I'm going to do about that, we'll see. And the radio is actually working and everything and i have to do the tire rotation tires in the front a little bit more worn out than the rear so but other than that they're all good and awesome but the biggest thing is going to be interior interior is super trashed and dirty this is what the trunk looks like a bunch of garbage and trash and um no spare tire okay So these, uh, all the lock cylinders and ignition lock cylinder were not moving good. They were getting sticky. So I had to use automatic transmission fluid and a lot inside of a lot of these locks. Let's try it. Man, this thing is moving amazing now. Wow. Anyways, check out the interior and how trashed it is. It's horrible. Good. The locks don't always work, so there it is. Super horrible. They gave me a little bit of oil with it, so that's nice. <laughs> getting nicely cleaned up it's gonna be really nice i'll show you all the progress tomorrow all right so i'm getting ready to clean this door panel too so dirty everything here remove this plastic and i set it over there that's gonna be getting cleaned up This is how this gas door is dirty on the inside. All right, and check this out. The panels are getting all cleaned up. They're still wet, still drying up. As you can see, everything is looking like amazing. I haven't touched the actual interior just yet, but you know, it's getting cleaned up. I'm cleaning all the channels right here everywhere. Uh, the trunk still needs to be cleaned up, but I've started cleaning all this so it started looking amazing guys this door panel is all cleaned up and the door door jams like all of this it's really nice i love it all right the driver's seat is out this is what it looks like in here. So much trash. And I found a bullet right here too. It's crazy, huh? So much trash. Jeez. And here's this side.
just look at the amount of dirt in the seat it's crazy that's why we're doing it we're doing it the right way for this amazing old school car so this seat is drying up it's gonna take a little bit <laughs> i gave it a full shower and then this other one which is interesting this other one right here has you know a lot of staining so also needs a good bath While I'm doing more work now, remove the center console, I'm gonna vacuum the rest of this stuff out. But the main thing is I wanted to take it out because somebody broke these previously, sadly. So I'm gonna have to try to do something because otherwise I don't like the way this shifter boot is sitting. So I got everything vacuumed here. Now what I'm gonna do is I have automatic trans fluid. I'm gonna lubricate all these joints here and all the shifter bushings and stuff. Well guys, everything is back here. I still have to clean some stuff here, but this center console uh, is back. Okay, and everything, everything is good here. Um, and as you can see, the boot is all fixed up now and amazing, okay. Everything is good. Just have to keep cleaning all this area, but it's coming along. One hour later. All right, now I have all the seat belts soaking in hot soapy water so they can be clean. All right, so we're gonna be doing the tie rotation right now. And we're doing it because this one has less tread than the rear wheels or tires as you can see and then we just want to check, check the suspension really quick and brakes make sure she's good so looking at this the brakes were actually done pretty recently which is nice the boots are looking pretty good here everywhere stabilizer links were done not super long ago all the axle boots are in great shape Awesome. Looking at the back, everything is pretty decent here. And the brake pads are about 30, 40% left, so they might need to be done at some point. But other than that, everything is good. The parking brake is on, that's why it's not turning. But everything here looks decent. No play in the wheel. Guys, take a look at this really cool, amazing factory. Honda tool. Isn't this amazing? It's literally awesome. It's a factory tool. It's like a ratcheting a wrench or ratchet. Looking at this, this is also fresh. I think it has new bearings on it. It has new bearings, new disc brakes new brake pads, new stabilizer links, axle is also fresh. You can see how dirty the seat belt was and I'm not done cleaning it yet. I have to get fresh water. Also changing some light bulbs while I'm here. Uh, some of them are burnt out and cleaning the housings of the license plate bulb. All right, so I have it jacked up now. It's gonna be time to change the engine oil and filter as well as the transmission fluid. And I have everything we need for that. So now I'm draining the oil filter. Well, this oil filter wasn't so nice to me. I had to punch a hole in it because I didn't have the tool at this moment to remove this oil filter. So I had to punch a hole and use a screwdriver to loosen it. But you gotta get the job done. 
All right, so I got a full synthetic mobile one for this thing, 10W40. It's a, uh, remember to use thicker oil. Don't put some 0W20 bullshit in it. And we got new oil filter as well. All right, new oil filter is going in. And after that, I will clean all this area up from oil and tighten the drain plug. All right, guys, now uh, I'm gonna be changing the manual trans fluid and uh, I haven't finished doing the actual engine oil change, but I'm gonna do it in the meantime. Just want the excess of the old oil to drain as much as possible. I'm just gonna let it drip for now. And in the meantime, I'll change the trans fluid. All right, guys, now I want to open the drain plug and the fill plug, which is all the way there. I uh, already loosened it and we're gonna drain the manual trans fluid, replace it. All right, guys, so I removed the fill plug, but as you can see, the fluid has been changed recently on this. So that's awesome. It's fresh fluid. It's It smells like differential fluid, 7590 or something like that. So I'm going to leave this alone. I'm going to put everything back together here. I don't need to replace it. It's literally like the fluid is clean. So that's awesome. And it smells like differential fluid the way it is. All right, so we got new oil filter right there. And... Uh, Everything is cleaned up, drain plug is back. Awesome, let's put fresh oil in. I just topped off the oil a little bit more so we can keep it at the maximum and there you have it there's your oil level sweet fresh oil amazing okay so the next thing after the oil change is we're gonna work on the ABS light and uh, so what I want to do is uh, uh, there's the so ABS light will actually uh, come on uh, after driving about like 10 miles an hour it's not gonna come on right now yeah uh, also the oil change is done everything is amazing oil is topped off I just have to work on the ABS light and um, I'm gonna show you how I scanned the ABS light and what it showed me. So after scanning it, you guys saw it was four and one which stands for the right front wheel speed sensor so we have to check that the engine is running amazing there's no leaks absolutely everything is amazing fresh oil change done so this is the connector for the abs wheel speed sensor I disconnected it and uh, we have the ac voltage and i'm gonna go ahead and spin the wheel connected to those two contacts and we're gonna have it jacked up in neutral I'm just gonna spin it we have zero nothing at all so something is up with this wheel speed sensor all right guys so I have this wheel off and I removed this ABS sensor take a look at it it's like broken off, isn't it? Looks really weird. Yeah, totally like broken off. That's the whole problem. Well, the speed sensor needs to be replaced. So I put the wheel back on right now. I need to find another ABS speed sensor for it. And in the meantime, just cleaning the wheels, making the wheels nice and everything.
Another thing that I found out is one of the fuses was in the wrong spot. It was in the vacant spot. So it was for the interior and for the buzzer. So right now I have the buzzer working and the interior lights working as well, like the dome light and stuff. Another fix. So now since I put that fuse in the right spot, I have the buzzer. Cool. Another thing is my charger is not working. Amazing. And the rear defogger is working too. It wasn't working before. And my interior light is also working. How crazy is that, guys? One fuse can fix so many things. Amazing. Let's keep on working on this car. So I'm driving this Honda. Uh, I have to pick up the suspension parts, replace the suspension parts today, and I have to figure out the cluster. The temperature and fuel gauge are both pegged high, so I have to figure that out. So that's interesting. Uh, everything else is fine, but you have to take all of this stuff apart just to get to the cluster. So yeah, uh, a lot of fun. <laughs> But other than that, she drives great. She drives amazing, even though the suspension parts on the left side, like the upper control arm needs to be replaced because it has play in the tie rod, but it still drives amazingly. It's crazy. Now doing more work on the Honda. I had to remove this module because I'm uh, doing some work on the clutch pedal. Uh, so the clutch pedal had too much play. So I'm adjusting that clutch pedal sensor right there. So right now, the clutch pedal has just a little bit of play before it actually uh you know does its own job and engages so that's a lot better and i like it a lot more because there was a lot of barely like two inches of free play on that clutch pedal so right now i'm putting everything back together should be good to go so after adjusting the free play on the clutch pedal it's amazing there's no more noise when you release the clutch pedal doesn't stick because before that you would drive around uh in this car and then you, as when you shift whether it's like up shifting or down shifting like you have to obviously use the clutch pedal and what would happen is like you would release the clutch pedal and sometimes it like would stick it wouldn't come back like all the way and then like you would hear it would come back but it would like because of there was like because there was a bunch of like free play it would just like spring back like quickly boom like this every time but everything is awesome now sweet yeah, I, I struggled with, like, with the civic right all right so this is the old control arm the ball joint is bad the boot was torn and it has play so we're installing that one and I added a bunch more grease inside of that ball joint. Also gonna install this tie rod. All right, also installing this tie rod and greased it up. I have to put the boot back on, but then this control arm is already in. I just have to tighten the bushings as the car is on the ground. Other than that, everything is going amazing. This is the old one. It's pretty bad, pretty loose. down here new tie rod new upper control arm on this side awesome also installing a new air filter on this thing soaking the rest of the seat belts in all right i got brand new turn signal marker lamps this one is super busted so i'll be installing new ones on this amazing machine and right here i actually i'm waiting for the so i added a little bit there's a trim that was missing i had in the trunk so i just added some of the sealant on it i'm waiting for it to cure i reinstalled it back because it looks really weird without the trim piece Looks a lot better now. All right, so I just finished removing the old ABS sensor. And this is what it looks like. It's pretty bad. 
it's broken off. I'm assuming they did that when they were replacing the axle on this side because the axles are actually newer. So that's what happened. Here's the new, a good use sensor, I should say. All right, so we're gonna be installing that. All right, ABS sensor is all connected right there. And now uh, this battery is loose, so uh, I had to get a, a hold down uh, and these rods right here. So I'm gonna make sure that the battery stays in place and it's not going all over the place when the car is driving. All right, so I also got these two brand new pedal pads I'm gonna be installing on the clutch and the brake pedals. And also just so you know, I already adjusted the free play on this clutch pedal, so it feels awesome. It's got a, just a little bit of free play, which is, that's what it's supposed to have. I'm also checking the tire pressures and I have this brand new spare, not brand new, but I have a, another spare that I got for this car uh, because this car was missing a spare tire. So I have to also uh, put some air into that one. I put around 35 PSI onto all of these. has to be 60 PSI on this guy. All right, spare tire is installed, inflated, and we have factory toolkit right here. All right, so brand new brake pedal and clutch pedal pads are installed. Looks amazing. Awesome. What a difference. I gotta finish cleaning this up right here and we're done. We're almost done with this car. All right, so I'm going for the final test drive. I'm actually uh, replaced uh, almost all the bulbs, um, except for a few, but most of the bulbs are replaced. There was a lot of work that I did to this car, fix these gauges, I had to just replace this whole thing. Uh, because my old gauge would, uh, literally the fuel gauge and temperature gauge, they would just jump right up and I tried everything I could to do to bring them back to life and there was nothing wrong with the sensors or sending units for the fuel tank. It was just something up with the gauge, I guess they're really sensitive and stuff like that. So yeah, other than that, everything is great. I'm putting this car back together. Everything is amazing. There's absolutely zero lights on the cluster. Everything is awesome. All right, guys, so this car is all cleaned up, all nice, all ready to go, ready for a new home. Everything is amazing. Uh, I just washed it once again. Uh, there's no floor mat in there. That's why I put cardboard, but other than that, it's very clean amazing machine back to life all the door panel seats everything has been cleaned up this gas cap this gas door i'm fixing a, uh, a clip on it right now so that's why it's off but it's gonna go back on soon amazing machine all right guys it's probably gonna be one of the final test drives on this amazing uh honda 1992 it's all fixed up uh amazing ready to go it just needs a couple more things like the fog lamps are not working didn't have time to you know uh, mess with those because i just checked that there's no power coming to the switch uh, you know there's a couple more things here and there but other than that it's this thing is amazing i love this car so much it's all cleaned up beautiful a red interior uh and everything I'm loving it it's just super reliable i would drive this car from here to new york anytime And beautiful Washington State, enjoying the nature. And here's brand new switch right there, the wiper switch. It's all done. Replaced oil change sticker right there for the new owner. Everything is legit. Also cleaned up the filler neck, made everything nice, and now I'm putting the gas door back in. We can see how it works now, as it should. 
before that it wouldn't pop out because this clip was broken so fix that all up nice another fix this car is so awesome all right guys there she is all fixed up ready for a new home i already had a couple of people test drive it and they're making up their minds right now they're probably gonna go ahead and pick it up one of them gas door is back in place and everything this badge i don't know if i told you but i reinstalled the badge i found the badge and installed it because it was missing sweet amazing machine guys beautiful car Look how beautiful it is here. So amazing. Wow. Well guys, the car is sold. We found a really good owner and uh, he really enjoys and likes this car. So he's gonna take care of this amazing machine. But I'm glad that it brought it back to life. Amazing car.